financial data. So financial data includes a lot of variables. For example, we have the uh, past the stock price. We have the return past the returns. We have the um, we have the trading volume. We have the liquidity, and we have the sales. We have the earnings. We have the expense. We have a uh, uh, assets growth. So we have a lot of financial data. So basically, uh, the the financial variables available for use. It's about two hundred to three hundred. So we have a two hundred to three hundred of uh, financial variables that you can use for for predicting future stock price. So what you guys, by the end of the day, what you guys to do is, I want you guys to get the, at least uh, a good sense of how to combine this information together, how to use the information to predict the future price. So let's look at this uh, uh, figure here. The figure here is you can use the uh, asset growth information to predict the firm's future stock price. So I, I'm sure you guys know what is asset price, right? That's a uh, uh, asset growth. Asset growth, it's a it's a it's a common uh, financial variables. So, so this is a little bit tricky here. Not all of asset growth can actually predict future stock price. So this is the story and the, and the, and the analysis I need to go over with you. How exactly we can use this financial data to predict the future stock price? This is the focus of the class. And there are several things you need to take into consideration. One is, when I say predict the future stock price, do you, can you, is that because you predict them by luck or you can predict the future price at any time, any sample? So these are the methodology we need to learn together. Okay, I want you guys to learn. So I don't want you guys to say, oh, I can predict tomorrow's stock price and it's just by luck. Uh, but if I repeat the game, if I if I ask you guys to predict the next time, you will just get it wrong. No, what we want is we want you guys to be able to understand all the financial variables I was talking about and then use the variables to predict the future stock price. And also at the same time, the prediction is stable. You are not just randomly or luckily get the forecast right. I want you guys to be able to understand the methodology. We have a whole methodology to have you be able to understand how exactly your prediction is systematic, is stable. And for any time, for any sample, your prediction will hold. We, your prediction will work. So that's why important, very important uh, math method, methodology we will learn in the class. And also along the way, you have to learn a lot of stuff. For example, how to calculate uh, abnormal returns, uh, how to calculate these variables I was talking about, how to get the variables that can predict the future stock price, right? Step one, step one, how to get the uh, variables that can predict future stock price. Step two, how to calculate those abnormal returns and how to make sure your prediction works anytime for any sample, not just random luck. So all these are the stuff we will talk about uh, in the class. This is the focus. This is the focus for this for this class. This is the focus for this class. So um, um, we will go over a lot of data, methodology and uh, uh, papers. And, and at the end of the day, you guys should be able to generate table like this. At the end of the day, you can tell me, Hi, Sean. Uh, you can call me Professor Chow or Sean, either way, okay? Uh, you can call me, hey, Professor Chow. So, you know, I can, I'm able to uh, understanding these 200 variables and I, I know how to construct a variable that can predict future stock price and the prediction is very stable. So that's, by the end of the day, I want you guys to be able to do that. That's the, uh, that's the purpose uh, uh, for this class, the focus of this class. We will also cover a little bit about the textual data. So, uh, so for example, this is about 10K. This is about 10K. So for the 10K, it's annual report. 10K has a lot of information here. You can see they have uh, risk factors and blah, 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 this information. So we will cover a little bit about the textual data. Uh, uh, so the idea is the same. How to use this textual data to predict the form future price, to predict the future returns. So, um, so that's basically the, the emphasis for this class. We will mainly focus on the numerical data 
and uh, use the, all the financial data to predict firm price and make sure the prediction is stable and make sure you, you guys are able to uh, uh, understand the methodology. At the same time, uh, I want you guys to be able to be able to process some financial data, at least 10K. 10K is too important to ignore. This is a firm's annual report. It has so much information. Uh, it's a very important source of financial data. So uh, for this class, we will focus on the all the numerical financial data and 10K. As long as you can use the, the these two data source to predict the future stock price, I'm very happy with the outcome. That's what that's the purpose of this class. That's the purpose of this class, and uh, we will work together to achieve that goal. And uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, about uh, uh, about what we are going to do for the rest of the summer and uh, and uh, uh, regarding the numerical data and the 10K uh, textual data. So uh, um, so this is about this class. I just want to give uh, another brief introduction of uh, my other class, uh, textual analysis uh, uh, the class. So for the textual analysis class, like I explained earlier, you will uh, completely focus on the textual uh, data. So we will focus on the conference call. So you, you can see this is a conference call. The conference call, uh, for example, the executives, uh, these are the company's CEO, CFO, and this is an analyst. So basically, uh, executives will introduce the firm saying, oh, we are doing very well this quarter, uh, and uh, blah, 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 they explain things. And Mr. will raise questions. Hey, uh, 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 hey, CFO, hey, Sharon, hey, Hubert, um, I have a question for your firm performance. I have a question for the suppliers, customers. So these are also very interesting data set. Uh, uh, it contains a lot of information. And the difference from the uh, 10K, 10K is official finding. This is the oral, this is like a speaking language, speaking language. So uh, we will not cover this in, the in our class, but this is another class of text analysis data. If you are interested in, you can, you can check on it. You can check on that class. And uh, in that class, we will focus on a lot of textual data. So conference call is just one of the textual data. Uh, and, and we will use uh, machine learning and uh, uh, advanced, uh, uh, to, we'll introduce machine learning advanced tools uh, to analyze this textual data. And uh, for an, another example is, this is AK. AK is when firm issue material news, uh, firm will file AK. So for example, the firm has a contract, firm has a contract, so firm will, will file AK to the SEC, tell SEC, oh, I have an important contract. I want you that investors know I have this contract here. I signed the contract. And the company also can file other stuff like a, uh, like a listing stuff, all the uh, transfer of listing. So so idea of AK here is as long as a firm has the important news, as long as the firm 